Hello and welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high quality stock research for long term value investors. And the Q3 earnings season is just going on and uh, a few minutes ago after market close, Intel published their Q3 earnings and I want to go through these numbers with you and explain what I think about them and what will I do with my position in Intel in my portfolio. So let's go. And to discuss the numbers of Intel, I want to go with you through this article from CNBC. And it says, uh, Intel drops on weak results for its data center group. And Intel today published earnings of $1.11 per share uh, versus $1.11 per share as expected, so in line. And they also published a revenue of 18.33 billion versus 18.25 billion as expected by analysts. And so they are a little bit over their expected revenue. Overall, Intel's revenue declined 4% on an analyzed basis. Intel's largest business, the client computing group that sells PC chips, produced 9.85 billion in revenue, up 1% year over year and above the 9.09 billion consensus. So in this part of the company, it seems like everything's fine, more or less. Um, but the key or the problem that the markets see and why I think uh, Intel is dropping after the market closed um, the data center group came up with 5.91 billion in revenue, down 7% and less than the fact that consensus estimate of 6.21 billion. So they misses this estimate by 7%. And I think this is disappointing because um, the data center part of Intel is the normally growing business and um, they are where in the future the revenue more and more have to come from. Um, and so I think market, the market is just very disappointed that here the estimates are not arrived. And so Intel dropped after hours over 10% to now $48.49. And this is a huge drop. I think Intel right now could be a steal with a P.E. ratio of 9.9 .9 and a dividend yield of 2.47. Because in my deeper analysis of Intel a few weeks ago, I calculated an intrinsic value of $78. And also at this time it was traded around $50. And so we have a margin of safety of around 35%. And this is huge for a great company like Intel, still the market leader in the ship sector uh, with a good market position also in the data center, even if the results here today a little bit disappointing. I think it would be a great long-term investment from the current levels. And so my position at the market close today was 7% in the plus and of course it seems like tomorrow when the market opens it will be back at zero or maybe also a little bit in the minus um, and this reaction of the market and i think this overreaction of the market let me wonder if i maybe will add even more shares of intel because i really think um, it's a great chance to buy into this great company the only reason i doubt to buy maybe more shares of Intel is that it's already the third biggest position in my portfolio. And so this is a reason I have to think about this. I have to sleep about this and then make a decision if I really buy in or if I really, or if I maybe just wait until it drops maybe even a little bit more what's absolutely possible after the reaction today. But in result of these published earnings and of the reaction of the mark in the after hours uh, and overall in the long term view, and this is all about here on the channel in the long term view, I think we have here a big chance with Intel. I know there is a lot of problems with the delays and also today with these not so great um, numbers, but I think the chances are way bigger and if I 
see risk and return on this price levels right now, I think uh, the downside is limited and there is a great, great upside for a good long-term investment with a decent return. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you found any value in this video and join me on my road to financial freedom. And if you really like this video, give me a big thumbs up and ring the notification bell to never miss another video. And then we will see you the next time with the analysis of another stock. See you then. Take care. Bye bye.